Uh, my name's Ed Trask, Richmond, Virginia. Um, I do murals, all kinds of art, and uh, I do community, I'd say creative community engagements. What was your first mural you painted in Richmond? Very first mural I did um, on 14th Street, 14th and uh, I believe it was 14th and Cary. They were doing a building there. I put on a fake jumpsuit. I had made up a fake letter saying that I had permission to do it, and I went up and painted an illegal mural of, uh, was it Isaac Bastevis Singer? I was reading a book of his, a book of his short stories, and decided that if I couldn't get the attention I wanted from galleries, then I was going to make the city my gallery. There's a lot of murals in this city. Do you know why that is? Um, I think one there was a reaction to. Now, I think one there was a reaction. Oh, stop. Should I be looking to him or looking? No, you look at me. Yeah. Yeah. So, murals in Richmond. Murals in Richmond. I think um, for a long time there's been a very old uh, conservative way of thinking here, especially in Richmond. It's been so tied to having this um, historical kind of. Uh, dome over it and what that gave us was it gave us a lot of things to rebel against and so knowing that people really didn't want murals kind of made a lot of people really want to put them up but uh we're seeing a really pretty serious creative change here in richmond now you know over the past three or four years you're seeing a lot of great business businesses come up it's been this great business incubator but you're also seeing this new tide of creativity that I think is taking over the old historical binds that used to kind of keep Richmond down. So you're seeing tons of more murals. You're seeing mural programs coming with, that are taking artists from out of the country and you're mixing them with local talent and you're actually starting to change the way the rest of the country sees the city of Richmond itself. So that's, I mean, that's a pretty amazing thing to see happen in like a three year process. And I think some of the, the businesses that are starting to come out of Richmond are pretty phenomenal and cutting edge. Sorry, I'm going. Okay. So, uh, what's your uh, what's your family history? My family history is I grew up in uh, Loudoun County, Virginia, in Percival, Virginia. Grew up on 15 acres of land and uh, worked farms on both sides of our land to get a car at 16, do whatever I could, and then came to Richmond, Virginia, at 18 to go to uh, VCU for art college to to do painting and printmaking and art history. Within that time, my parents have still owned the land, still the house. I watched Loudoun County become completely overgrown and turn into something completely different than the bucolic place that I grew up in. Um, and that became a very serious theme in the art that I work in now. Where is it located geographically? It's northwest of Virginia, so it's about an hour and 20 minutes from Washington, D.C., and about three and a half hours from here. Northern Virginia is, um, I think it's the perfect case study of unsmart growth. You know, you have these little micro cities like Tyson's Corner that just kind of sprouted up. Um, being somebody that travels north and south a bunch, there's pockets in Northern Virginia that you grow to hate because you'll sit there and pretty much stare at it from I-95 for a long time. Um, Culturally, there's still some great things and beautiful things happening, but for me, it's just, it, it epitomizes unsmart growth. All right, how would you describe Central Virginia? Central Virginia, I think, obviously still holds on to a lot of these historical uh, paths that really shaped it. And uh, I don't know, I still love tons of, of, of Central Virginia. I think it's worth traveling through. I think there's a lot of the old original families that I don't know, that shaped the towns and the cities. And I still love going through there. I think they've still held, held on to a sense of heritage that, you know, has kept it true. Why do you like to call Richmond home? Excuse me? Why do you like to call Richmond home? Initially, Richmond was a cheap place to live. 
was close to New York and D.C. and uh, the beach so I could surf and everything else. But what I found is that a certain, uh, I ended up getting a bunch of friendships with other creatives and it turned out Richmond ended up becoming, I think, a really great place to live, not just for um, a cheap, let me think. I think Richmond became a great place to live because the cost of living was cheap, but you had just the most incredible creative talent all around you. And if you really wanted to survive here as an artist, you had to, you had to really excel and you really had to work hard. Uh, all of them down the James River and the trail system all around it. Um, for me, I have to be on the trails or I have to be by the river. I have to be outside for my everyday thing to even really exist. Like I have to have that little sojourn with nature. And I don't think there are very many cities that have this incredible trail system and a river that slices right through it that you can go to and, and, and have that time. Ha! Uh, in my backyard is a rope swing that's 30 feet up so my kids can, can swing themselves around this giant oak tree. Um, let's see, there was a skateboard ramp, but now that's gone. Uh, <laughs> grass that hasn't been cut. Uh, yeah. And uh, last question for now. What are your hopes? My hopes are that... Um, Richmond continues to thrive creatively and that um, Richmond really becomes um, seen throughout the country and the world as being the creative hub that it is now. Um, okay, no worries. My hope is that Richmond, oh, yeah. Well, my hopes is that, you know, Richmond will continue to be a, a leader in, in creativity, but I really hope that um, within the next, within the years, the, the country and, and, and the world will see Richmond for what it really is, which is just a great place to live and a, a, a place where I think everybody would want to live. But not only that, I would love for my family to stay here in Richmond. I would love to see my daughter's kids stay here in Richmond. I would love to see this become... Um, Somebody just stays in the family. My, my, my father moved around constantly. My mother moved around constantly. And I, I love the idea that I can stay here and have everything I need culturally, historically, and uh, it's a perfect place to live.